company, thepoolman.com. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at our filter cleaning tracking and how it works in our system. So we can see right now on our dashboard that we have three different options that are showing for our filter cleanings on the left here. Uh, we have any showing that are six months and older. That's uh, going to let you know things that need to be cleaned right away. We have ones that are coming due, four to five months, and then we have our custom overdue. Uh, your custom overdue is going to be any filter that you can set at an interval of your choosing. So if you want to wait two months to clean that filter and then have it go ahead and remind you, you can set it here. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to click on our view filters. That's going to go ahead and load up our uh, filter tracking page. And what we can see right off the top here is in purple, we have two different ways that we can search for filters if we're just diving in here real quick and we want to see some information about a customer. Uh, right here at the top, we can go ahead and just start typing a customer's name and it'll just get rid of the rest. We can also search by the customer's address. So we'll type in uh, Logan's address here, 5396, and we can see right away it gets rid of the rest. So let's delete that out. And then to the right, we can see that you can filter by, I just wanna see all my past dues. And so we're gonna click that, and that's gonna give you all of your red filter cleanings. Those are the ones that need to be done immediately. So if we click it again, it's gonna go ahead and repopulate our list. And then if you wanna start planning for the next month or two, you can go ahead and click coming due, and it'll get rid of the rest. So uh, we've added those in there, that way you can easily navigate through the system here. So now if we go ahead and scroll down, uh, we can see we have three different colors. Red is anything six months or older, um, or if you also have a custom due date, it'll be red if it's past due. Uh, our orange here is gonna be any that are four to five months, or if you have a custom due uh, filter, if it's gonna be within a month, then it's gonna be orange. And then we have our green, which are, these are all good, don't worry about us, we're just sitting here for reference. Okay, so uh, we're looking through our customers right now, uh, we have Logan here, and we can see that we have tags now. And our tags uh, are associated with Pay the Pool Man so that you can add in multiple filters to be tracked that are at a single location. So if you have a commercial pool, you can easily add in multiple filters and keep track of when they've been cleaned and uh, add in your custom filter notes. And so if we go ahead and open up, let's see here. If we go ahead and open up one of our uh, options for smashing business here, you can see right away you can click edit filter tracking and you can change the date. So let's change this from February 7th to February 8th. We'll click OK. And uh, we can go ahead and edit our notes also or add a custom due date and hit update. And we can see right away that it's been updated in the system. Very easy, very quick. Uh, we open up our options again you can stop filter tracking for this customer altogether, or you can delete this specific filter tracking. So let's say you put one in by error. You can delete it out right away from the system. And uh, right here below this in purple, we have uh, three new options. So now you have the ability uh, when you're planning to notify the customer when you're gonna clean that filter. So uh, all you need to do is select the date. We'll say the 10th. And then right away, you can send out a text message through the system that'll let them know on Wednesday, July 10th, that that filter is going to be cleaned, or you can notify them by email. Nice little easy uh, uh, part of the system to keep your customers in the loop, and it doesn't really take you any more time. Uh, if you have a customer that you need to get an approval before you can clean uh, the filter, you can easily in the system send one out. So just like that, we've sent out a request to our customer. Once it gets approved, Pay the Pool Man will notify you, the company, that it's okay to uh, go ahead and uh, get that uh, filter cleaned. And then lastly, you can go ahead and schedule your filter cleaning if you use Plus. So if we go ahead and select that, it's gonna go. Okay, so now that the Plus page is loaded, we can go ahead and we can see right away where our customer is. And if we went out and said one of our bids, we can add it right in there and do all of our regular uh, scheduling right here from within our filter list. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Let's load this up. All right, 
And so we can see that we've added a lot more uh, ability for you to take filter tracking more in depth. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and see how we can add in a custom due date. So right here, we'll go ahead and use this customer. If we look for smashing business, we have one, two, three, four, we have five different filters at this location. We can see that they're separated by the tags and we'll show you how to make uh, tags at the end of this video here. So we can go ahead and see each one of these are easily identifiable so that we know how to keep them separate. So let's go ahead and say that uh, we needed to clean this one here prematurely because of bather load or whatnot. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's go ahead and edit our filter tracking and uh, we'll go ahead and change it to, let's say it was a month ago. And we're gonna go ahead and put in another due date. And uh, let's go ahead and make it, you know what, let's go ahead and make it a month ago for the ninth, and we're gonna change this one back. That way we can see how this is all gonna work. Okay, so now we can see that this customer is red because what we did was we went ahead and backed up our cleaning date and we put in a custom due date of June 9th. So right away, it's letting us know, hey, this date has already passed, it is due. Now, if we go ahead and change this date, we can see that the colors are gonna change with us. So let's go ahead and change this from June 9th. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in a uh, another pool here. Let's see, let's go ahead and add one in for Logan here. And we're gonna go ahead and use one of our tags. So let's click add new in the top. And once again, you're only gonna add these manually to the system when uh, the customer cleans their filter or you went ahead and bought new grids or cartridges and you're not gonna go ahead and add it through the auto billing part of the system. Or if you wanna track filters that you don't clean but you would just wanna keep track of them. So uh, let's go ahead and look up Logan. All right, we can see Logan here. And uh, let's go ahead and give him one, two, three, four, five. We'll go a couple months back. And uh, let's go ahead and add in a note. Let's see. All right, so let's clean that filter in the back grass behind the shed. And uh, let's go ahead and see, you know what, let's uh, close this down. This one is for the Pro Grid back spa filter. And let's go ahead and do the kiddie pool back pond. All right. And uh, let's see, we're gonna give that one a custom due date because we don't want it to go six months out. Let's say it's gonna be due in a couple days. Okay, so we can see that it's went ahead and populated and we can see that easily we can tell which filters need to be cleaned as soon as possible. So right here, we have Logan loaded up and uh, all that information is right available for us to go ahead and schedule it. And so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's find another customer here. Let's go to Smashing Business. I'm gonna show you how to add a filter tag. Okay, so now we're on Smashing Businesses page. We see we have a whole bunch of filters. And let's see, water feature, let's do water feature filter number two. All right, so we're gonna go water feature filter number two. And we'll go ahead and just fill some of this information out. Let's say 2000 series, 48 square foot. All right, let's get this information. Now here's our new information right here that we're gonna put in our filter tags, and you're only gonna add those if you have multiple filters. There's no reason to put these tags in if you only have a simple one pump, one filter setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and say um, behind the front parking lot fountain. All right, so let's go and save that equipment. So we can see that it's been added. So now if we go back to our customer's uh, dashboard here, we're gonna view our filters. 
and we're going to go ahead and add this one into the system. So we're going to go smashing business. Great. And let's just say today. And down here we can see that we can select from all the different tags. And right away it's going to put in the model. And then it's going to go ahead and put in your tag. So we want the 2000 series behind the front parking lot fountain. We're going to save it. Great. And then we're going to scroll on down. And here is our new filter being tracked. So now for Smashing Business, we have uh, two, four, six, we have seven filters being tracked. So you can see that you can go as in-depth with this as you want, or you can keep it as simple as you want. You don't have to add any tags in the system for it to work. All right, have a great day.